All right, hey, it's Space Word Bird. Welcome to another YouTube video, playing some video games today. Today, of course, we're playing some NBA 2K20, playing some My Team, and finally got through the solos to get Goat Larry Bird. Now, the process involved me taking a little time off from YouTube for the past couple of days here to get that done, uh, but made the most of that time. Yeah, I managed to evolve a glitch Nikola Jokic and finish up evoing a buzzer beater De'Aaron Fox. Uh, not gonna lie, evos are a freaking chore. Uh, they do honestly take the fun out of playing the game, but they do provide a little nice MT bonus for the effort. I've got both up in auction today and expect to get close to 200,000 MT for both. Uh, that's a win. Uh, so for today's video, my initial thought was let's run some triple threat online and celebrate. Yeah, quick games, good rewards. And then check out the new Goat Larry Bird uh, with Goat Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Magic Johnson. Heard that Kareem and Magic got a duo. Then I was like, really? Do these cards need a duo boost? They're goat cards. But then I was like, yeah, 2K does a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense. So I figured with all the new duos that were announced this week, I uh, thought I'd throw it out to you guys and hear what duos you guys were digging. And then run one for today's video. Uh, Joe Kane called out the new Robert Ori, Derek Fisher duo, turns the two diamonds into galaxy opals. We were like, yes, absolutely. Let's check out this duo. Uh, how do you get the cards? Uh, not from packs or the auction house. Uh, you get them from locker codes. Now, both codes still active. Make sure you redeem both. Uh, two codes, so a couple of chances to pick them up. Uh, me, what did I get? Got some free tokens. Cool, uh, but doesn't help us out with a gameplay vid. Uh, Darian called out the Bill Russell and glitched Ben Wallace duo. Uh, yeah, I saw this duo and was like, this is awesome. Uh, but we just posted some Bill Russell gameplay. Uh, the Bill Russell card, absolutely insane. Highly recommended along with glitched and now Evo Ben Wallace. Now Shaq and D Wade uh, seem to be a popular choice. Also Danny Granger with uh, Prime Paul George. Uh, that would be a pricey duo. Uh, a duo coming in at under 100,000 MT is uh, Gary Payton and Sean Kemp. This duo looking solid. Uh, but then there was one duo that we thought had some serious budget baller potential and would provide that triple threat challenge we were looking for. And the game gets stale when you've got three OP cards on the court, we like to turn up the level of difficulty. And the duo that was called out was Opal Larry Kennan and Diamond Julius Irving. Now in auction, Larry Kennan you can find for around 40,000 MT. And Diamond Dr. J, yeah, you can find for around 4,000 MT. Uh, so we sniped both. Well, not really, but we did get a good deal on him. Uh, Dr. J, we got for 3,300 MT, and Larry Kennan, we got for 32,500 MT. Now, if you want to see some real snipes, yeah, we got a few videos up. Uh, sniping, we're pretty good at it, just saying. Uh, now, Larry Kennan is an interesting card. A budget Opal, no doubt. Uh, the least expensive of all the Opal small forwards, but why? Uh, he's a 6'9 small forward, so good height. And as an Opal, he already has ridiculous ratings. Uh, top tier athleticism and defense. Uh, but the card does lack outside scoring. But now, with the dual boost with Diamond Dr. J, it adds top tier outside scoring to the card. Let's check it out. Plus 10 open shot three, boosting it to a 95, plus four mid to a 98. Offensive and defensive rebounding improved, plus four to a 98. Yeah, 30 total additional attributes added to the card and the stats added are substantial. Now elite outside scoring added. I know for badges, I did add pick and popper and dead eye. They are upgraded from gold to hall of fame. And then looking at Dr. J, yeah, the legend. The upgrades to the card, and there's a lot of them, turn the card from an outdated diamond into a viable option for triple threat. That turns it into a 98 overall pink diamond, plus 17 open shot three to a 90, plus 15 open shot mid to a 95, plus 10 speed, speed with ball and acceleration. So speed is a 95, acceleration and speed with ball is a 91, plus 10 lateral quickness, plus three driving dunk to a perfect opal rated 99, and the card already had a 98 vert. So 148 total additional ratings added to this card. Now badges, nothing exciting, Hall of Fame catch and shoot and acrobat added, that's great. But what's critical is, is that the card having no quick draw now has gold quick draw. And you can see the difference it makes immediately to the card. Now it also gets gold clutch shooter, dead eye, hot start, and tireless shooter. I love that the card, you can pick it up in auction for around 4,000 MT. Uh, now why did these two cards get a duo? Love that 2K pays respect to historic players. Larry Kennan and Julius Irving played together on the New York Nets and won the 1974 ABA championship. Uh, that was during Kennan's rookie season where he averaged 15.9 points and 11.5 rebounds per game. Now, other fun facts about Larry Kennan. Uh, during the 1974-75 season, he was traded to San Antonio, where there he enjoyed his best years of his career, uh, playing alongside the Iceman George Gervin. Now we'll run the duo with another budget favorite and sticking with our Nets team theme. And are you surprised? Yeah, it's uh, another appearance from TakeOver Jason Kidd. Uh, if you haven't figured it out already, we love this card. Game number one, and it's going to be a good test. And he's running uh, Goat Larry Bird, along with two other favorites of ours, Pink Diamond Joe Caldwell and Eddie Curry. Uh, 
uh, these cards, outstanding for Triple Threat Online. Now we'll get the game started by showing off Dr. J's improved shot release with a green light mid for our first bucket of the game. Then Jason Kidd left all alone from limitless range and it's another green light. Your kid in the paint and defense collapsing so kicks it out to Larry in the corner and gets demolished by Pink Diamond Eddie Curry. Here it's Jason Kidd, the shot fake and baseline drive setting up Dr. J with some Lob City cheese. But this game though was a challenge. Here Goat Larry Bird left corner and it's a green light three to take a five point lead. Here pick and roll on the wing. And Dr. J manages to set a screen to tie up both Pink Diamond Joe Caldwell and Opal Larry Bird. It would give Jason Kidd the open look from just inside the three point line. Larry Kennan competing here. The green light fader and what is that shot release? A good thing we messed around a little with the card in uh, freestyle before the game play. The shot release is ugly. More greens here from Dr. J from the left corner to tie the game at 14 and then defense making plays. Larry Kennan would deny Pink Diamond Eddie Curry. The basket would secure the defensive board and then push the break. Now defense able to get back so we'd go to work in the half court set and here Jason Kidd on the attack driving baseline. Now Caldwell and Eddie Curry help to stop the drive. And Dr. J unguarded and the open look from three is another green light and Dr. J right side free throw line extended. It's a good look but off the mark. Kennan cleaning the glass and then the strong two-handed finish and a little extra rim hang. Now with that bucket would retake the lead. Then opponent inbounds the ball to Opal Larry Bird. Then check it out. Larry would lose the handle on the ball. Yeah, gets stripped by Opal Larry Kennan. Larry on the attack and would set up Dr. J with a lob game winner. Good first run. Let's check out the reward board and just getting started. Uh, nothing terribly exciting on it. Uh, would manage to get a Dwight Howard deluxe pack. Yeah, the best packs, always the free packs, even if they are bummy Dwight Howard packs. Now running a second game, an opponent's got a solid squad. He's got Opal Jamal Crawford and Bull Bull and uh, Pink Diamond Gerald Green. I uh, would get the game started with Dr. J on the attack here, setting himself up with the extra flashy finish for the first bucket of the game. And Jason Kidd here driving left, giving Larry Kennan a chance to show off that athleticism with some Lob City cheese. It would tie the game at four. And then lurking on the inbounds pass. Opponent taking some risk. The long inbounds pass to Gerald Green. Dr. J would get the pass deflection. It recovers the ball and then takes it straight to the rack. And then the run would continue here. Larry Kennan, the defensive board, pushing the break. And the pass out ahead to Kidd in transition and would get the green light release from three. And Jason Kidd here, the behind the back. And then on the attack, takes it down the middle of the lane. And the strong finish. Yeah, Kidd with his second bucket of the game. The game close though. Opponent here though, a little too aggressive on defense. Green and Crawford pick up the ball, leaving Dr. J open from three and it's a green light. A four point lead and Kidd driving middle and then setting up Dr. J cutting baseline, the perfect lob pass and finish. And that would light up Dr. J's slasher takeover. Kennan here gets Bull Bull to leave his feet, drives middle and then dunks on Opal Jamal Crawford. And Dr. J playmaking here, the hesitation and behind the back and then would get the right handed layup to drop. And then let's set up your game winner. It's Jason Kidd to Larry Kennan, the lob in strong finish. Yeah, that's ball game. And Bull Bull's post game reaction, he can't believe it. Just got run by the budget squad. Now to the reward board and still one drop. And now a chance to either five tokens and three tokens and 300 MT. And then with the one drop would walk away with five tokens. So solid start to our triple threat run. All right, let's go to game number three. And our opponent really locked in the lights out set to get Pink Diamond Clay and Hall of Fame Steady Shooter. Also locked in the first flash set to get Ruby Taco Fall. Who does that? Also has Diamond Steph Curry. Uh, the card, a budget card from the Spotlight Iggy set into the gameplay. And it was, yeah, no surprise, lobs and green light threes. Here, Jason Kidd from the left corner. And Larry Cannon setting up Dr. J with some Lob City cheese. It would go up quickly, seven to nothing. And kind of sensing here that our opponent has possibly gone AFK and Yep, there it is, the quit. Opponent has seen enough. We want to see that reward board. I've uh, been doing okay too. I uh, got that free pack and five tokens so far. And this reward board, a chance at four tokens and two tokens and a hundred MT. And with the two drops would get two tokens. And then with the second drop would hit that same spot and get a hundred and fifty MT. Uh, but we always like to run at least three games for a vid and that last game didn't really count. So let's run another. Uh, in this game, uh, surprise, another GOAT edition Larry Bird sighting. Uh, you're going to be seeing this card a lot in Triple Threat Online. Uh, also running an Opal Takeover Chris Bree and uh, Prime VIP Victor Oladipo. And here it's Dr. J cutting baseline with the reverse finish. And here Jason Kidd pick and roll with Larry Kennan. we we'll set up Larry Kennan with the lob pass. Larry playing above the rim, the big finish. The team struggling, down four. Dr. J though would cut into that lead. Here the three from the logo and buries it. And Jason Kidd on the boards. Yeah, grabs the offensive board, kicks it out to Larry Kennan and it's a green light three, but still fighting to stay in this one. Dr. J though again, this one from almost half court and got it to tie 
tied the game at 16. Dr. J here, the defensive board, and pushing the break. Takes it unassisted, the full length of the court to throw it down. And the reverse finish to take a two-point lead. More lobs? Absolutely. Turning into the theme of the video. Here's Larry Cannon to take a four-point lead. And then let's set up your game winner, Jason Kidd, on the attack. And feel bad for our opponent because all three of his defenders would collapse on the ball. Would kick it out to Dr. J and a green light three game winner. Yeah, a solid run going 4-0 for the vid. And we'll take a look at the reward board. Uh, two drops now to work with. And we've got a lights out pack and a couple of small MT spots. Uh, 100 and 250 MT. Now we'll get the lights out pack and 250 MT. Uh, so we did okay with the free tokens and packs uh, running this budget triple threat squad. Uh, now takeaways from this duo. Uh, on a scale from awful to amazing, uh, I'd say the cards were solid for the price. Can't beat it. Uh, at times though, especially Dr. J uh, struggled to defend, uh, but made plenty of highlight plays on offense to make up for the lack of defense at times. Uh, Kennen's an interesting card. Uh, with the improved outside scoring, uh, this card definitely has some potential if you run it as a duo. Uh, but that shot release, though, will definitely take some work. You've got time to practice it on a triple threat online court. Uh, now, that's all we've got for you today. Uh, likes, greatly appreciated. Uh, and subscribe so you're checking out that next My Team video. For Party Pete, this is Space. More duo vids incoming. We're out.